Hello and welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm here to give you my recommendations for the Game of Tomes Readathon. In case you missed it, earlier this week I did an announcement video for a Game of Tomes, a Game of Thrones themed readathon hosted by myself, Robin, and Dasha. We will not be reading the Song of Ice and Fire series, we have just created a readathon based on that world. I did not read the books for the series, I did watch the show but I did so very late. So if you have done neither of those and still would like to participate, you can. We tried to make this very easy for all readers regardless of which genre they read. For example, I tend to read a weird mix of romance, fantasy, and mystery. So I'm going to run through all of the prompts for the readathon and I will give recommendations for each of those genres. So this really is something that everyone can participate in. I've also said before that I don't particularly love readathons when they're very specific. So this one was right up my alley and I'm really excited to be hosting it. If you haven't seen the announcement video yet, highly recommend that you check that out before jumping into this one. I'm not going to go over all the details again, I'm just going to head straight into the prompts. Why are you so loud? As per usual, neighbors are making noise. I don't even think this is the same neighbor that I've been battling with. This guy is just talking so loud and it doesn't make sense. I'm on the top floor, why can't I hear your conversation? So for a brief review, we start off receiving a letter from our mother asking us to head to King's Landing and pledge our family's loyalty to the king. Along the way, we stop at Crossroads Inn and we overhear some rumors about different things that are happening in different places. From there, you decide which path you'd like to take. You have the option of searching for the Targaryen heirs, heading to King's Landing as your mother asked, heading to Winterfell or to Casterly Rock. We all start off with the group prompt of Crossroads Inn. For this one, we read an anticipated book. All right, so because I'm a dum-dum and forgot to plan out the group prompt, somehow I just completely skipped it, but it's okay, I figured it out. Now, like I said, I'm gonna do one recommendation for romance, fantasy, and mystery, thriller, horror, whatever you wanna classify that as. So first, romance. I recently picked up The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. I don't really know much about this, except that I believe this woman created a social media app and she ends up having a one night stand with her rival or something. I don't know, but I think it'll be a fun time. For fantasy, I've chosen The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. I have heard really great things about this, but that it's a little heavier than expected. So I feel like I need to be in the right mindset to get to this one, which is why I haven't picked it up just yet. But the cover for book two, Merciless Ones, has been released and it's so fucking beautiful. I gotta get to this soon because I need book two. It's just so pretty. And my horror anticipated book is Darkness is Mine by Carla Louise Robinson. Carla and I have actually been really good friends for quite some time now. I read one of her earlier releases, you know you want it, and it's so good. And I'm really excited to see what she does in this one. I feel like it's gonna be creepy as fuck just based off the freaking cover. But those are my anticipated releases. Obviously, as I mentioned before, we tried to make this readathon as easy as possible for all readers. So reading an anticipated read should be pretty easy. So up first we have the Winterfell path. This is the path that Dasha will be taking. She is a huge fan of the Starks, as am I. So if you're a fan, this is for you. So I do have my computer. I'm gonna be looking down. I should probably put my glasses back on. Okay, so the first prompt for the Winterfell Path is you journey north requiring you to pass through the two towers of the twins. Read a book with two words in the title. Pretty simple, right? So my romance recommendation for this is Undercover Romance. I will be reading this most likely during the readathon or after. This is the second book in the Bromance Book Club series. I didn't love Bromance Book Club, but I really like the character in this one. So I'm hoping it'll be good. If you're unfamiliar, Bromance Book Club is about a bunch of male athletes who read romance books so that they can be better partners. The main character recently got to an argument with his wife because he found out that she's been faking orgasms for three years. Don't do that, we don't do that. But some of his teammates rope him into this book club to try to help him out. The character in this one, I think his name is Mac? Brayden Mac. But he was my favorite character in book one, so I hope that this one is good. Another one that I would recommend for this is Desperate Measures by Katie Robert. If you like something a little bit more smutty, that was a good read too. My fantasy for this prompt is Jade City by Fonda Lee. I buddy read this with Robin and Dasha. The first half was fantastic, second half not so much. I still give it four stars. I will continue the series at some point, but in this we are following two rival clans in a city where Jade gives you fantastical abilities. So it makes you stronger, it makes you faster, it gives you sort of 
superhuman abilities, I guess you could say. And so we're following this battle for territory between these two clans and we're following the main family of the No Peak clan. I really like the characters. It was a fun time, but there was like an event, like a plot twist that happened midway through and then I kind of felt like shit went downhill. Another recommendation for this prompt would be Red Queen. I don't have the book anymore. I actually just sold it, but that also works for fantasy. And then my mystery recommendation for this prompt is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I have the book. I just don't know where the hell I put it. Um, I actually just finished reading it. I re mm, I think my rating is probably going to be like a three star. It was good. Gillian Flynn has the ability to make things sound really creepy or really disgusting or just like, ugh. So if you like that kind of thing, Dark Place is definitely good. I will say it's probably my favorite of the three things that I have read by her, which are Dark Places, Gone Girl, and uh, sharp objects. I guess any of her books would, would work for this prompt. The second prompt for the Winterfell path is while winter may not be here yet, the north is cold. You breathe a sigh of relief when you finally see Winterfell in the distance. Read a book with wintry vibes or a wintry atmosphere. So my romance recommendation for this is one that I actually have not read yet, but it's In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. My first Christina Lauren, well, my only Christina Lauren was The Unhoneymooners and I really liked it. So I do want to read more of their work and I've heard great things about their other work. My fantasy recommendation is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I was not a huge fan of Shadow and Bone, but Six of Crows is forever in my heart. As you can see, I bought the collector's edition. I sold Shadow and Bone though. So if that gives you any idea of how I feel about it. I picked this one because part of it does take place in Fyrda, which is cold and icy as well as in the ice court and all of it's just covered in snow. So I thought that was a pretty good rack for that. Look how pretty that is. Anyway, and then my mystery thriller recommendation for this one is one that I've seen on a couple other people's booktubes and it sounds really good. It's No Exit by Taylor Adams. So I just have the synopsis up real quick and it says a thriller about four strangers, a blizzard, a kidnapped child, and a determined young woman desperate to unmask and outwit a vicious psychopath. Yeah. I wrote this book down because I saw somebody else talk about it but now I really want to read it because that one little line has me intrigued. I think that'll be a great read. Now on to Casterly Rock. This is the path that Robin will be taking. The first prompt says, your path takes you past River Run and you reflect on their status as a lesser house. Read a book that is less talked about. So one that you haven't heard hyped up a lot. My romance recommendation for this is The Trouble With Hating You by Sajani Patel. I know she just released her second book in this series or a series of companion novels, I think it is. But... I think Robin got this for me. As y'all know, I've been on a journey to find romance books that I like, and I think I'm gonna like this. I don't know much about it, but it's okay. So my fantasy recommendation for this is A Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. This is the first book in a duology, and the only person that I've ever heard talk about this, I think, is Ashley from Bookish Realm. I don't know much about it because obviously I didn't read the synopsis, but it is about a young woman who is born into a family of powerful witch doctors. And there's mention of demons on the back and I can't wait to read it. I think it's going to be a great time. This is a five star prediction for me. So hopefully I can get to it soon. And my mystery recommendation for this prompt is The Couple Next Door by Charlotte Lupena. This was also gifted to me by Robin and honestly, I loved it so much. I gave it four and a half stars. It's about a couple who goes next door to a dinner party and they leave their baby girl home alone. They are checking on her every half hour, but then when they return from the party, she's gone. I really enjoyed this. There were a ton of plot twists. Half of them I was able to predict, some of them I was not. If you're into very twisty, turny reads, I highly recommend this one. The second prompt for Castle Rock is as you journey through the lands of Lannister supporters, and especially the closer you get to your destination, you spot numerous Lannister banners. Castle Rock especially is covered in the red and gold of the Lannisters. Read a book with red on the cover. My romance recommendation for this is The Wedding Day by Jasmine Guillory. This was on my September TBR. Unfortunately, I did not get to it. Side note, I'm planning to read mostly romance in the month of November, so this will probably be added back onto my tbr for this month hopefully i can get to it i plan to get to it before the end of the year i just didn't have time in september because it was too busy a month at work 
My fantasy recommendation for this is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This was another five star read. I really enjoyed it. This is actually my first V.E. Schwab book. It's an adult fantasy about two college roommates who are best friends. However, they start participating in experiments to see if they can give themselves superhero powers. One night, one of those experiments goes horribly wrong. And so I think 10 years later, Victor is now trying to kill Eli despite the fact that they were best friends and their story unfolds from there. There is a sequel to this as well called Vengeful. Didn't love that one as much, but Vicious is really good if you like morally great characters from found family. And my mystery recommendation for this prompt is The Chestnut Man. This is a book that I was gifted for Christmas. It's about a serial killer known as The Chestnut Man who leaves little chestnut figures at his crime scenes. Have not read this yet, but I really like Criminal Minds, so I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. Next, we have the path to find the Targaryen heirs. None of us are doing this path. There are four paths, only three of us. First prompt is, you head to King's Landing to cross the narrow sea to Pentos. Read a book set on or near a body of water. My romance recommendation for this is A Duke by Default by Alyssa Cole. This is the second book in the Reluctant Royal series. This series is a bunch of companion novels, so you don't necessarily need to read them in order. However, I did because that's how I prefer it. But in this, we are following Portia Hobbs. She takes an internship in Scotland with a sword maker and romance ensues. Scotland's near water, I'm pretty sure. So <laughs> that is my pick for that. For my mystery recommendation, I actually have three, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. First, we have The Night Swim, one I picked up off recommendation of other booktubers. The Guest List, which I believe takes place on like an island or something, Irish island. It's a wedding on an island. And then, and then there were none, which also takes place on an island. So I haven't read these two yet, but I have read and then there were none. I gave it four and a half stars. It was really good. I couldn't figure out who the killer was, which is always a fun time. And it was my first Agatha Christie read. The second prompt for the Targaryen path is you arrive in Pentos to find that the Targaryen siblings were in fact there, but have since departed. Read a book featuring siblings. So my romance recommendation for this is probably going to be pretty obvious. It is the Brown Sisters trilogy by Talia Hibbert. I'm going to take this moment to show off these parade edges. Yes, I did buy the Illumicrate special editions because I couldn't fucking resist. But this is also a series of companion novels that follows three sisters. So each book is about a different sister. They are slightly interconnected, but you could read them as standalones. So honestly, any of these would work. My fantasy recommendations for this are Ray Bear. Oh, that's not Ray Bear. My fantasy recommendations for this are Ray Bear and Redemptor by Jordan E. Fueco. This is a young adult fantasy duology about a young girl who was raised in isolation but then sent to kill the crown prince. That's the gist of it. But what I really love about this duology is that when the main character arrives at the children's palace she forms a bond. This is more of a found family type bond but in this book the term council siblings is used. So the emperor of this country has to anoint 11 others to his council and they are so bound to each other that if they spend any time apart they come down with council sickness which is like a cold but a million times worse. So that might be a loose interpretation of the prompt but again it just shows how easy this readathon is. My mystery recommendation for this is My Sister the Serial Killer. I have not read this yet but I'm very excited to get to it. I've heard really good things. This is literally about a woman whose sister is a serial killer. She keeps killing the men that she dates. That's all I know. That's all I want to know. I've heard really great things about it so I think I'm going to enjoy it. And lastly, we have the King's Landing path. This is the path that I will be taking. The first prompt is you feel excitement as you spot the gates to the massive city. Read a five star prediction. My romance recommendation for this is Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. I kind of picked this up on, a, up on a whim, partially because I also saw that Olivia Dade has another book coming out in this series already. I've heard nothing but good things about this and because it's based on a Game of Thrones, I felt like it was the perfect time to pick it up. In this, we're following a plus size woman who does cosplay. She gets sort of bullied online and so the star of this tv show who is essentially jamie lannister from my understanding asked her out on a date but he doesn't know that they've already been communicating online with each other so i'm really excited to check this out hopefully i really enjoy it why is your car so loud and 
if I do, I will definitely be picking up her next book. My fantasy pick for this is Upon a Burning Throne. I have only heard about this from Starla Reads, but the way she explained it just really made me want to read it. This is about an empire where the king has died, so his sons have to be put to the test of fire, but they literally have to sit upon a burning throne. Both of them pass. However, another person comes in and they also pass the test of fire, so then it's a struggle to figure out who's going to actually rule the kingdom. This is an Indian inspired fantasy that honestly I have not heard enough about. I'm pretty sure it's going to be great. It is a bit of a chunker so I also grabbed the audiobook to help me through it but I'm really excited to read this and I will be reading it in December. And lastly my mystery five star prediction is you. I watched the tv show. I really like it. I don't like Joe. Let's not romanticize Joe. He's not a good person. It's not romantic. He's a literal serial killer but I like the show, so typically the book is better, so I expect that this one will be. The second prompt for the King's Landing path is you are admitted after a few days to see the king. As you enter, you see the legendary Iron Throne. Read a book about or featuring royalty. My romance recommendation for this is The Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. This is the first book in the Reluctant Royal series. She also has another series called Runaway Royal, so any of those would work. Any of the books in this series would work as well. So because I've already read A Princess in Theory, what I'll actually be reading for this prompt is The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert. I don't know much about it to be totally honest, but it's Talia Hibbert. After the Brown Sisters trilogy, I will literally read anything by her, so it doesn't even matter. My fantasy recommendation for this is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. It is somewhat about Nikolai as well as Zoya and Nina. I don't want to say what the synopsis is though, because if you haven't read Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but Nikolai Lansoff is a part of the royal family in Ravka, so it fits the prompt. All right, I'm going to be quick because my phone is dying. Hello, editing Ray here. So finding a mystery book about royalty was a lot more difficult than I expected. However, I did find one. It is called the Royal Spinus series, and the main character's name is like Lady Georgina Victoria something something, but she gets asked by the queen to become a spy, and she does, and starts off really rocky and then a dead body shows up and someone's trying to kill her. So it is actually a historical fiction cozy mystery that is also about royalty, but I guess we'll go with that. Let me know if you plan to participate in the mini round and or the main round in March. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.